to Israel, but because of the uh, state of health of my mother, we didn't make it. I will abbreviate the story. We ended up being in France. Uh, I was, half of the time I was illegal. I was stateless already because my passport expired 90 days after I left Poland, so I had no state to belong to. So I know what it is to be stateless, and I know what it is to be undocumented, and I know what it is to be afraid of cops. Because when I was in France, uh, that was a time when there was a war in Algeria, and I looked sort of Arabic a little bit, and uh, being suspect, you could always be assured that uh, you were not treated kindly by a cop. So uh, you know, it's part of the learning process. So I spent about two and a half years in, in Paris. That was another language I had to learn, and it's, it's not an easy language, but I worked a couple jobs, uh, all the time illegally, for less than minimum wage, and uh, hoping that nobody would squeal on me. But we made it. Eventually, we got arrested by the French police and asked point blank to leave. We left at that time, at that point, to Argentina and left there because uh, my father had a brother in Argentina and the brother had enough money to send us to pay for the for our trip cost of transportation. We just couldn't we didn't have any money to even pay to leave the country. But anyhow, we uh, like I said in France we all worked my parents and I worked for uh, two two jobs and more or never. Uh, and uh, well, I learned the language too. I went actually to Avianz Kunsel and learned some French. And then we come to uh, Buenos Aires, in Argentina. I spent there, we, we spent about five years. And I was working as a salesman, as a buyer. Uh, we formed a partnership with my parents. They would sew, I would sell, and buy materials. And uh, the times were difficult because the inflation was terrible. Anyhow, uh, at some point in time, I always wanted to go to college. I wanted to be an engineer since I finished high school. And it just wasn't happening. And when I went to the University of Buenos Aires, I was, first of all, I was told that my Polish high school diploma is not worth anything because they consider Polish education inferior. And then they went on a, a silly story about that I don't know anything about history of the people of Argentina, etc. And basically the man told me, listen, you need to go back to high school and like to eighth grade, like almost what you are. And I was already 26 years old and I just didn't think 